welcome back to another episode. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the very first Game Boy game I ever got, and it was called Batman Return of the Joker. And man, what a great game. Another uh, stellar title by Sunsoft. Really underappreciated gem. Uh, that's your intro. Here's your game. Released in 1992 and developed by Sunsoft, you control the Cape Crusader in order to stop the clown prince of crime, the Joker. Here's the controls for the game. The A button jumps, uses your wall climb technique, and releases your grappling hook. The B button uses your power punch and throws batterings. Pressing up on the D-pad uh, uses your grappling hook. Unfortunately, when you do get batterings, you can't really get the option of you know using just your punch or your batterings. It's uh, it's really unfortunate. You should be able to switch between uh, b between both. The story revolves more around the Dark Knight comics and not so much the movies. The Joker is stealing precious metals which are used to build missiles. Batman is called to find the Joker's secret hideout and to stop him. The game offers four stages, three of which are selectable from the beginning. While that may not seem like a lot, the game is not an easy one to finish. There are three difficulty settings that uh, actually alter the various boss battles especially the one at the end with the Joker. The sprites are simple, but there's enough detail to satisfy. The addition of the wall climb and the grappling hook make this game incredibly enjoyable. It's actually one of the things I really liked about the uh, NES Batman game was that wall climb. It was really cool. Another episode locked away into the Batcave. And uh, so yeah, Batman Return of the Joker, a great game, a uh, great gem by Sunsoft. May not have a lot of levels, I mean, but it's challenging, it's fun, and you know, I just wanted to show you this actually. This is uh, the instruction manual for Batman Return of the Joker. has some neat artwork on the back too, and actually in the, inside the booklet. I don't know, it's probably straight from the comics or whatever, but it's really cool show you a little bit more. Yeah, I got this game in 1993. Actually, my parents bought it for me. And I still have the manual almost 20, almost 20 years later. Almost. So yeah, I'm Will. This is the Game Over Club. Thanks for tuning in. Till we meet again. Oh, oh man! <laughs>